Hi, it's Sue. Happy New Year. I'm here ready to start in this concertina journal for Junk Journal January. Um, my plan is to film two or three and um, show them as one. So here we go with day one. And day one is resolutions. Don't know if you make resolutions. I rarely do. But this year I'm determined. I need to start hydrating. I need to start drinking more water. Tea doesn't count and coffee doesn't count. I need more water. So that's the first of my resolutions. So I've got a few pieces here that I thought I could put together. So without further ado, here we go. How was Christmas? Hope you had a lovely time and um, you didn't celebrate too hard for New Year. Otherwise you'll be sitting with headaches at the moment while I'm videoing this. Uh, the weather here has been quite nice. We had a bit of rain, but we needed it, so that's all good. Okay, what I've done is I've taken a couple of pages from um, two different dictionaries. One is water, the other is hydrate. So I'm using those. My plan this year was to keep my pages reasonably simple. I don't want to spend ages and ages on them. I mean, there might be the occasional one that I get carried away with, but I'd hopefully, um, hopefully not. My plan is to make this a quick page. It'd be nice if I could get it straight too. Okay. I've got some, um, um, what do you call these? Can't think now. But stick, no, not stickles. Can't think. Anyway, um, H2O. What I've done is I've coloured them with um, one of these colouring pencils. And um, they're ready to go. So I'm thinking we'll put these up here. pretty simple page um, but that's good we like simple in my house well, certainly in my craft room at the moment after I put away all the Christmas bits oh my goodness won't see them for another year and I wasn't going to do Christmas this year that didn't last but it was good good fun I'm just gluing this on a glue book at the side. Glue. Okay, now these are sticky backed, but we might just add a bit of extra glue, which I think they've still got the backing on them, yeah they have, get rid of that, Taking the backing off this one, so that's straightforward. OK, 
again. Right, and day one, and I've already lost my little label. Oh, here it is in my lap. Okay. And I'm going to put that down here. There we go. Day one, resolutions, that's it, onwards to day two. So day two for Junk Journal January, and I forgot to turn the camera on when I did this page. I am so sorry. I have to make myself a little reminder. This was a quick page. It took me, oh, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes, which is good for me. I've just used some scraps of paper and um, a little bit of washi here. The, um, sorry, I should have said the, um, prompt was starry. So I've used the prompt prompt up here. And um, guess what? I ended up going back to my Christmas box. Goodness, I thought that had been put away and forgotten about. But I knew that I'd got um, these gold glittery stars and these pieces too, which I am calling stars. <laughs> I also found this little scrap of paper, which for me will be for journaling on. Um, the stars that they were just, uh, this base one was a scrap that I tried to cut on my, um, I'd cut the star shape and I tried to cut a word on the silhouette and it didn't turn out. I've got a box full of stuff that hasn't turned out. And I thought, well, it's a waste to just throw it out, I'll keep it. And I've used it here and just um, added a smaller star over the top. And that smaller star has been duplicated here using um, brown packaging tape. So basically I just drew around this shape, cut it out and added the white pen marks. Okay, this is a bit of pattern paper tissue just um, bunched up on the uh, sewing machine. So just uh, gathered here and added down the side of the page. And I've left a short length of thread here. Now, anybody who knows me knows that I can't bear uh, scrappy bits of thread. I have to, we'll see how long that lasts there because, you know, I am tidy by nature. <laughs> And uh, that may well get trimmed off. So that was my page for day two. Now we carry on and I will remember to turn the camera on for day three. So before I move on, I should just point out that I did add some extra bits to this page. Um, I often do that, go back over and um, check out what... Um, how it looks and then um, perhaps add a few bits and bobs here. All I did was use a highlighter to highlight these two words, water and hydrate. And um, I also added these, they're supposed to be droplets, um, also highlighted in the yellow. And um, looking at it now, I may still add a little bit of journaling um,
just to say, you know, that um, hydrate is my word of the year. So that's that day finished and now we'll move on. Moving on to the next prompt, which is prompt number three. So this is my page for prompt number three. And the prompt is stained. You can see that. Just put that there safely. Now what I've done, I've already collaged this page um, when I put the journal together. So I've got a fair amount of action going on there. Um, what I decided was I wanted a flip down for this one. So I've added this piece of uh, graph paper. And as you can see, it, it's been coffee stained. So that's the start of my staining. And that will drop down for um, journaling. So that's there. I've just added it with some washi. This is the washi I'm using. Pink is the theme because the following page is, bit, is actually a bag and that's pink. So I need to drop that down and I've got some papers to collage over here as well as this little image. So what I thought, just come up a tad to show that washi. So I'm thinking something like this, with this, which is quite bright, but it helps bring in this flower. So I'm going to put that probably around about there. Okay, so what do I need down first? Probably this one. Yeah. So I'm going to use um, a glue stick. How are you today? It's, um, I'm filming this and it's, what's today? Monday or Tuesday, I'm not sure, isn't that terrible? Um, it's actually, what is the date? It is the third today, so I'm bang on target. Third my time. Um, probably still the second where you are. And it's a very warm day here today, very warm. You can probably hear my fan in the background. I work upstairs and um, upstairs gets very warm. If it gets too bad, the AC goes on. But just at the moment, I'm trying to be a bit frugal with the AC. Um, energy prices being as they are. Okay, so now next piece will be this hot pink one. Oops, remembering to keep the washi visible. Yeah, so I think that goes just below the E. So, yes, yeah, so it's warm here. Um, I um, haven't had much time since Christmas to do a lot of crafting. Most of the stuff I've posted was done, finished before Christmas. Um, yesterday, had a wonderful day yesterday. I did the big clean up yesterday. The tree came down and the decorations and they all got put away. Wonderful. 
I know I used to wait for the 12 days, not anymore. I, um, because we have doors open most of the time, this sort of weather, it gets pretty dusty. So everything got taken down yesterday, floors got washed. I was feeling very good by the end of the day, very tired. But um, I felt like I'd got my house back again. And in doing so, it means I can get back into a routine with my crafting, which is excellent. Do you have a routine? Do you allow yourself? I mean, I'm fortunate, I'm retired, so that helps. But, um, you know, if, when I was working, it used to be crafting was an evening evening or weekend occupation. How do you manage? Right. The only problem with evening, of course, is that um, taking photos is not the best. But you do what you do. Now this is a little piece of um, embossed paper. I've embossed this with dragonflies. I've got a couple of these little pieces sitting around. So that's going there. And my flower will go up here. Something like that. But before we do that, let's do a little bit more spritzing with a coffee stain. I'm just going to bring in this piece of scrap tissue. And I don't, I just want, actually it might be better doing it this way. I just want some drops. That's so funny. The drops are landing on the scrap paper, wouldn't you know? That's better. a long way doesn't it <laughs> oh I don't really want it over there should have um, blanked that off really see if that works and this one to use finger Oh, it's the wrong top. Okay, get rid of that. So that's ready now for the image. Smudge that around. Okay. Set. 
perfect. It's just this pink tissue might be a bit hard. Paintbrush. Oh, there it is. It's better. I just dulled that down a little bit. It was a bit bright, wasn't it? Okay, now, what did I do? Here it is. See, I'm thinking this will go up here. I didn't cut any of these very straight. That might be a bit better, not a lot, but that will do. So that's going there. Okay, so that just leaves this area here and um, I've got this piece of tea bag. Oops. got glue all over my fingers now. So this little piece of glue bag, uh, tea bag, it's another image that I've spritzed with coffee. Here. And I wanted to add some of this polka dot, and it's from this bag actually. Just wanted to add that, it helps marry the two pages together. And I'm thinking just like that. I've got a little um, whale tail um, tag that I'm going to add on the top of this. Yep. I'm trying so hard to keep these pages relatively simple and um, quick to produce so that I can go on and do some other things. My daily journal has been neglected a bit. I did finish the Christmas one but the daily one still needs a bit of work. Okay, we could have a little piece of washi. along that raggy edge. Okay, a log piece. Let's stick that up there. There we go, trim this end. And then this is my little whale tail punch. I think I'm gonna use it this side. And I have a little stamp. What did I do with it? Here it is. It's another of these hibiscus, and I thought I might stamp that. 
fits yeah, on the front of this tag. And I'm just going to do it in black. Open that up, might be better. There we go. Not particularly central. Um, where's that tape? It's see if we can just cheat that a little bit. Oh, there's my small scissors. Here we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. I could have just turned it to the inside. That will do. Yep. And that I just put here. Um, use some art glitter glue, I think, for this one. So you can see what I'm doing. And we'll put that about there. There we go. So this is my journaling space. And that's prompt number three, stained. Very pink, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I'm going to um, get the video up for this one, I think. This will be the third, so I'll start posting my videos today. Thanks so much for calling past, and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Bye.